Good afternoon, Westminster Woods on Julington Creek. Chaplain Leslie here bringing you our Thursday afternoon Thoughts to Grow on Meditation for today, which is Thursday, June the 17th. And so I invite you to sit back and be comfortable and open your hearts and minds and see if this message might be something that will give you something to think about on this day and throughout the rest of this week. A couple of weeks ago, my husband and I broke out our fishing gear and tried our hands at the pond that's in the back of our property. Neighbors had shared that it contained fish, and so we were determined to see if those rumors were true. There's something very satisfying, at least to me, about catching a fish. It's you and what you have at your disposal against a fish who's in its element and is determined not to get caught. <laughs> We spent a lot of time waiting on that morning for a bite, even for a nibble, to see if that bobber that floated along the top of the water would get tugged under and if we would really get to catch anything. Oh, but it teaches patience, that is for sure. And I think that when you catch something, it's even more satisfying if you have to wait for a little while. It's odd that while I don't mind um, dealing with the messy, squishy worms, when it comes to actually taking the fish off of the hook, I hand it straight over to my husband. That's his part of the deal, uh, to take the fish off, and then we happily toss it back into the, to the water because we don't keep them or eat them. We catch and release. Scriptures have lots of images about fishing. The disciples were fishermen, and so it's something I think that a lot of people can identify with. My recent experience in our pond reminds me that life can look a lot like a fishing expedition. There are parts I think I can handle myself, even the slightly uh, messy parts, like in the case of the fishing, the worms. But I also know how easy it is to look the other way when it comes to the parts I don't want to deal with and try to hand them off and have somebody else deal with them instead of myself. Relying on God to be present in all circumstance reassures me that I don't have to do it on my own. Whether it's the easy parts or the messy parts or the hard parts, whatever it may be, I do my best trusting that God is going to help me through. And when I get stuck, when I get to those parts that I can't handle, then those I give to God because I trust that he's going to be with me and help me through. I shouldn't be trying to do things on my own anyway, at least not without God's help and having him be in the mix. He helps me be patient, and he celebrates with me when it comes time to celebrate. And so he gives me the gift, the gift of his Son and of the Holy Spirit to help me navigate through all of life's circumstances. And so whether we're looking at fishing analogies or just plain old life, I wonder, how is God helping you be successful on this day? What, what tools is he giving you to make your way, not just make your way, but to do so in a healthy and exciting and uh, fruitful way? Let's pray. Lord, thank you for being with us in all life circumstances that if we compare our lives to fishing, Life takes patience, as does that activity. And so you are indeed always with us, guiding us, protecting us, keeping us well. And I pray that you do so always on this day as I offer up a blessing for all of those here on our campus. In Christ's name I pray, amen. Amen, good people, and until next time, peace.